Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, finally back here at long last. You won't know why that is. Well, in case you might be curious, obviously, oh, <laughs> yeah, in case you might be curious, today here is actually quite a special day, and that's a uh, good old 27th of September. And uh, you might notice that because, well, may as well just show up here. Uh, let's see, Gudo Runescape. Uh, get a count. Yep, yeah, see that? Still applicable. Count has been permanently muted. Yeah, 27th September 2017. Permanent mute. So, why did I say that? Well, Indeed, as with the previous mention video going over the, uh, what do you even call it, the sort of farewell party as it were. Well, I made this decision that it would be for a whole year's hiatus, you know, pretty much, and I stuck to that. I didn't include the, I put it from the day I got permanently muted, so essentially today, this has been a whole year since I've been permanently muted. And pretty much, that's me back. Full fold. And of course, as a sort of addition, this was actually to protect my sort of account while I was away. And oh god, there's a lot of drama. You know, a lot of stuff. Oh fuck. Well, that was embarrassing. Let's see. It's, uh, wow. Wrong pen, and I'm going to have to probably censor this if I ever post this on YouTube, which, by the way, if any, if either Canny Bassa V2 or Kitty Foxfire is watching this, hello there. Hope you're having a good watch of all the sort of old school rinse commentaries I've put on in the past. But yeah, so essentially, also in case you're wondering this money here, that was kindly donated by Kitty herself. And that, uh, you know, oh, this is going to be like, if you remember, I donated, well, outside of the 110 mil drop party and that, I donated seven parts of my like best items and that, you know, and it's like she got the, well, indirectly, of course, she got it through Biggie for the Ring of Coins, which was about 14 mil at the time, and then it's just, damn, all over that, and it's like, I was promised, like, what was that, Ring of Suffering alongside with that Dragon Hood Cross, which I am fucking furious. I am like, <sighs> if I kept that item, you know, the Dranahurt Crossmore, which was one of my best weapons, and then probably one of the most expensive as well. The previously pretty expensive 23 mil, over 100 million. Like, and you know what caused it? There was a buff that happened, and I thought, I won't even go into it. And now I'm saving it all for the events, but regardless, <clears throat> regardless, yeah, the whole thing here with the bank is. It's not looking very good. No, not at all. You know, this is pretty much how it's left, uh, you know, after a whole year of inactivity, as it were. You know, and it's just like, fucking hell. Yeah, I actually have plans to sort of empty out the bank for a bit, you know, start off with the books, you know, like, they're pretty much pointless, and maybe work my way to the cosmetics part two. You know, but we'll see. So, I suppose I may as well, uh, I'll just combine together, because, you know, this is a plan here. I didn't see the Toku here. Obviously, I thought that was going to be way too long to get anything out of that, but with the new sort of shop in uh, the Inferno Tazar Cave, you can actually use, like, there's this one gem shop that offers ten times the amount as opposed to the usual one, but they've also buffed up the rate slate for all, both shops, actually. No longer is... One sapphire 25 to cool, it's now 37, and same for emerald, 50 up to 75, so... Even that, I can still get a good one and a half, maybe two mil, if I'm careful, so... You know, I've got a plan ahead for grinding skeletal wyverns, getting that decent amount. Once I nearly max out range, because I want to get hit points first, I'll move on over to Zora or Barber, so I'm not quite heavily equipped yet. You know, so... Yeah, it'll still be interesting anyway, any rate, but... Alright, enough of that. So, I'm going to pull out a bunch of these books. Let's see. Yep, and all these are getting discarded. And, uh, all of them. 
Oh, man. Yeah, I think it's certainly going to be an interesting read either way. You know? Also, one thing I want to check, by the way, before I start with this. Alright, not bad. I actually had some laws in here after all. And, uh, you know, because I was wondering about that. I thought, I can't remember for the life of me if I had it. But, no, I've got some teleports already set there. So, I guess we're good. Alright, so... Just before I go ahead, because you'll no doubt be wondering, and uh, yeah, that is Kitty Foxfire herself in the flesh. And I've talked for like well over 14 months, and only now we started me because she was original from RuneScape 3. Yeah, fun stuff for that. So, also another thing as well, in case if you're curious, yeah, that little bar there, that's my out, the same one used to announce it. Just that's a put a bit more folks here. That's going to be my sort of chat bar as it were, because it's through an out and that, because my main's still apparently muted, so... I'm just going to have to work around that, and also, oh god, potential new friends, hint, hint. Yeah, so, as you see over the experience that's last left, that is 87,891,955. That is still correct. See? Never, like, once I teleported out from my player own house and that, you know, I've never got a single bit of experience since then, and yeah, and also I did a little bit of calculation, including the untradables I invested in. Yeah, ten point nine million, almost well, just a little short of eleven, but unfortunately, about two thirds of it I can't even get free money from. And it's also the too cool that I'll hopefully be training to, you know, Safran to then sell from bulk, but alas. One other thing I'd like to say just before I get started with the whole thing is. Yeah, friends deleted after three, six, nine months in one year. Yeah, unfortunately, obviously due to my activity, I had expected this to happen, you know. You see here, you know, obviously when I checked in, you know, three months in, you know, Lucia, four, both sort of right, but didn't really get to know that well. And, you know, two others who, at that point, I wasn't really keeping a track of, which I wish I had, you know, but, you know, it's a tough one. And another three months, this is about halfway point. Uh, Shan X and Merkson, you know. Shan X didn't really know. Merkson, eh, about the same. But Baby K, oh my fucking god. That is. <sighs> That's gonna be a tough one to bite, you know. Yeah, no doubt you'll not see it here and that, but. Uh, we'll just have to wait and play all that when we get to that. And then finally, after. Oh no, actually, no. Nine months, this being uh, in the middle of summer, and that, uh, Volknard, uh, Medico, you know, sort of, I don't even think we really did the sort of chats with Volknard, Medico, just for a one off, but Rage Tank at that sort of, stung a bit, but at least she's got a private set to on, so maybe I can get back in touch, we'll see. And then finally, I'd actually done a bit of a Scooby and just said, fuck it, I'll go three days early, and that, uh, because I'm just too impatient, and yeah, this is too, the biggest one, you know, five. And that, uh, you know, Vital Link, that was a good guy from a friend, you know, and that's, oh, he's in Bro his own drama as well. Mochella, she got one of the seven sort of item trades and that, drank full helm. Uh, but again, she's got private on, so that's fine. A lot of, uh, you know, chat for a bit, but you know, I can get in touch with her, as you saw there. Claire Fury, uh, uh, not really, and Jennifer is something. Uh, yeah, that was a potential one, but never got around to it. So, yeah, uh, pretty much, you know. You know, I actually suppose I could just uh, log off this one and uh, I said, no, fuck it, no, piss off. But yeah, so <clears throat> how to start this off? Well, obviously, you know, it's just I don't know, but this sort of. You also notice here and that, you know, we've got a sort of weird ranking system, you know, recruits, generals, uh, not in clans, and the occasional captain. It's basically, you know, I've rounded it down to, you know, are they a friend, and have I seen them log in? You know, and that's how I determine, you know, not in clans, I can't confirm to be friends, you know, they've not popped in. Recruits, they are popped in, but they're not friends. Captains, you know, they are friends, but they haven't, like, seen... Been seen and logging in, and you know, generals, well, both of them, you know. Yeah, I'll do a little clean up after this and that, just making sure that, you know, 
got my friends all sort of checked out, so, you know, yeah, it's a whole lot of drama, and you know, God, unfortunately, I won't be able to talk much about the really, like, the real juicy stuff, you know, like, just in this last week alone, it's like, my God, the video game industry seems it's turning stuff upside down, but I will briefly say it here, you know, it involves a very notorious sort of Jagex mod that's been well associated with the infamous clan Realm of Terror, it goes by the name of Mod Jed. Oh, he's had a uh, panic with, you know, all that suspicions of DDoS, you know, tournaments and that, you know, counts being hacked despite, you know, really good security and all. All him. He is behind everything. But that, the depth stuff, I'll say for then. Another one is, uh, I suppose, unfortunately, this is an end of new RuneScape, so unfortunate passing of Telltale and that, you know. Yes, good old Telltale, and that, you know, just a pity that, you know, that that's him going, and that, you know, good old Walking Dead, you know, and it actually confirms a sort of suspicion of mine's, you know, the whole thing of, a. Uh, I don't know, people watching, you know, the Let's Plays and that, you know, it's definitely uh, something that, I don't know, maybe there is some sort of proof that, you know, as far as actual, you know, gameplay is concerned, well, that really is a sort of issue where it's like, if the appeal of a game is primarily for its story, then you kind of are watching, you're getting the same sort of satisfaction as you are watching it. And that, you know, because the gameplay is so minimum, but I suppose that was always going to be the fate of a uh, Telltale. And that, you know, shame though, but it's the whole thing is just like, it's a bit of a shit fest, I'm being honest. You know, but, eh, uh, well. So, yeah, uh, just going to be going through the books here and that whilst I talk about all sorts of fun stuff and holy shit, there's a lot here. Damn. Alright, so, let's get up the little Word document and I'll push that up so it's not blocking the screen. Alright, so, let's see here. Talk about following in Rebirth, this is going to be this video and that starts up. Alright, so the first one, literally just I think mere days after I'd left and that the deaths of uh, two famous hardcore Iron Men and uh, from what I remember uh, yeah the Boaties by Tayrock yeah he got uh, he got disconnected when he was fighting against Grada and all oh, that's showing off just how poor giant servers can be and it's why it's a really dangerous thing to be a hardcore Iron Man you know, really messy business. And as for Alfie, he's he's a streamer I'm not really a big fan of, although I don't really know him at all. And uh, he's a uh, yeah, he bags, and I think he's he sort of got connections with ROT, but not nearly on the same scale as that Jed fellow and that. Uh, yeah, he got fucked over by you know just a. Real unfortunate attack and that with Cerberus and that uh, and yeah, two hardcore men dying like right next to each other almost. I think they're only a day or two apart. All that hard work and just to think it wasn't too long before with friends and that. You know, his uh, White Cat 22 is now apparently gone, you know, and, and I do mean permanently, you know, not just like a oh, hardcore man, no, 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 way more than that. Yeah, you know? Oh, but, but, yeah, and then, I think about a week or so after that, came the grotesque Garadians, i.e. Garagoyle Slayer boss, which, for the record, it seems like a nice idea, and it definitely is, but the problem is, because of how it's ranked as the lowest sort of Slayer boss, it's sort of in a weird position where it's, like, kind of tough, but the rewards don't quite match up, you know, and it's just, oh, it's a bit of a farce, you know, uh, 
around here. Yeah. That is a... I don't know, I've seen, like, the footage of it, and it's certainly complex, and I don't know. People have been saying that they want to try and reduce its uh, health and that, so it's, you know, obviously... Just trying to, I don't know, make it more killable for Slayer, because it's not got really the profit going for it. It's not got the Slayer experience going for it, because it takes ages to kill. And its items aren't really that great, and that's not even, like, valuables in that, per se, so... I don't know, it's a tough one. You know, but I mean, I'll... I'll probably will, it probably will be the first one I'll be covering in that, because I said I've, I've now got, like, high enough Slayer for, uh, Abyss of Sciatry, but there's a good chance I'll get Gargoyles before Abyss of Demons, so it's just whichever one comes up first. And, uh... But, yeah, so, after that, you know, like, right at the beginning of November, came the new King of the Skill game mode, where basically the objective is, is pretty much to, what's it, yeah, to get as high in a particular skill, or the highest skill total possible, and, oh, that was, it was a say, welcome to Freedom, I was supposed to use your D, you know, not DDoS, uh, D Dead Man mode tournaments, and uh, it went pretty well for the most part. Just a whole sort of thing with people being really competitive, and all you know, this guy, you know, sort of fucked up my method, and you know, just start the usual competitive bullshit. Yeah. Also, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So it's a whole thing of uh, obviously. I, I'm not really kind of competitive person. I mean, I've played some Rocket League and sort of done good at that, but no. To me, I don't think it's my sort of scene. And that, uh, if I'm being quite frank. Yeah, no, it's definitely not for me. No, it is not. Alright, so one after this, uh, about a couple of weeks down later on in November, got the new Majorina 2 with its uh, even better magic capes. Yes, this one. Oh, this was not received well. Not because the item. The item was found somewhat right, you know, like a clear upgrade and, you know, obviously the challenge was not easy to get, but apparently it was one of those sort of quests that was just sort of rushed in that, that you could tell the quality wasn't quite the same. Like, it wasn't... As ironic as it's the same, it wasn't old-school RuneScape quality. <laughs> Even though it's like, that show, you know, like, it just felt like sort of cheap, you know, like half-assed, you know, nothing sort of unique. Yeah, you notice the whole farce of the demons, so copy and paste. I think they actually changed that, so now the Zamark ones are an actual unique demon, the other two are like, instead of Saladome and Guthings demons, <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, and everyone knows their lords, knows that that's just fucking stupid. Instead they got a uh, Frasaradome and a nice justice here, which ties in with the whole Thea blood thing, and uh, uh, ancient Ent for the Gothics, which, well, I suppose makes sense from a nature point of view. So, yeah, fun stuff. Alright, so, up next is, oh yes, funny you should mention that, Mod Jed and the Return of Terror Clan Controversy, the beginning of December with the Winter Denman mod. Yeah, this is what they referred to a good bit about nine months ago. And uh, saying got involved in a controversy, and this is all about like the whole sort of DDoSing sort of thing, and just people suspiciously disconnecting. Yep, he was behind that, but I, and I don't know. I think most people were like, he's not like a really, he's not an upfront kind of guy, but they didn't want to believe that, you know, ROT actually had sort of insiders, as it were. You know, I was always in the mindset that there was. I wouldn't have suspected more than DDoSing, but I thought he has to be involved in some way, but when the DDoSing scene got too intense, he quit ROT and then did the whole hug thing, but more about that when I get to it. Oh man, it was a, quite the controversy, needless to say, and it's what I suppose sort of tanked, and I, this is just the first of the big ones, like, the ones later on, especially near this time, it's, oh, it was fun. 
So after that, I mean, this is just a re-mentioning of the Christmas monster redecorations, i.e., you know, they actually went out quite nice and uh, with this one. The fact that they went out of their way to sort of give all these various well-known monsters, I mean, not every single one, but a good number of them, like different sort of decorations, like Santa hats, party hats, and what have you. Yeah, and it was a, I don't know, a nice touch. Not something I would actually expect it, but you know. Eh, not bad. So, yeah, and then, oh, actually, what I'll do is I'll finish up with this one and then I'll. No, 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 two more. And that's so, alright. Dragon Slayer 2. Yes, it finally arrived with that fucking uh, Rune Fest and that, you know. They announced that just four days before the permanent mute. But, you know, what can you do? Yeah, that's a promise up in it, and with it came Zora version 2. I'm not joking when I say it, but I suppose it earns the right to take place of the pre nerfed Zora because of the whole, you know, you have to complete like a Grandmaster quest and all sorts of stats. Where Zora, I think you only need to do Regicide, and I would have thought Regicide was hard, but apparently it's not anymore. Yeah, uh, but yeah, so that was a, uh, came with a whole sorts of new things including like you know raf runes which are supposed to be like the really powerful like even better than you know wave spells and that you know it came with uh, adamant and rune dragons you know that was a fun one and uh, I think also yeah it came with like the new sort of I don't know was it the weapons and that yeah none of them are really noble except I think for the uh, what was it? The skeletal visage, which is the range sort of like. Oh no, was it? No, 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 no. Yeah, it's skeletal visage because that was like the the range version of the shield, like Dragonfire's melee, and then there was some sort. Of, no, fucking. There's some sort of like I can't remember the name of it, but essentially it's the range version. You know, skeletal is a magic blue one, and that you get from the the sort of ancient wyverns in Fossil Island, which I've still not been to, but you know. Oh, uh, that's fun. And then, on the last note, before this video conks out and that, yep, I found out not too long afterwards, two guys, one DDS, got permanently muted. Hooray, and that would not be the only justice served. Oh, no, 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 there is more, there is more. And I don't know, it's maybe why I'm so fine with, like, I don't know, I feel so much at ease. I feel like justice in a weird way has given karma out, you know, dished it out quite nicely, you know. So yeah, this will be a ongoing project, getting rid of the books and talking more about all the events and that as they come along. I'll need to find a sort of good timing for it, no doubt, but alas, that shall be it. The first part of me coming back to old school RuneScape. I used to hope I can get more of this done and that and just, you know, get back to all the things I was meant to be doing, you know, like with Zora, preparing for the Slayer Boss and Zeliana, you know, all that, but alas. My bank needs to be rebuilt, and I intend to do it with the sort of support I got from Kate Foxfire, so without further ado, I'll be doing just that. Tell them, folks.